Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Tremaine and this is my daily recap for Days of Our Lives for Wednesday, September the 30th. If you haven't done so already, go on ahead and hit that subscribe button. It only takes a second. It helps the channel out. Also, if you're already a subscriber, go on ahead and hit that like button because it lets YouTube know to let other people know this is a good channel for people looking for soap news and information. And you can become a member where you get early access to videos. You get exclusive videos and you also get articles and different things of that nature to give you sort of that, that next level experience. So we're going to go ahead and talk about Days of Our Lives even though I don't want to today because it was boring. Today was a very boring episode. It was like a filler episode. Belle gets Kristen out on bail and Kristen wants to go on the run with Brady and Rachel. Brady convinces her not to go on the run and just to fight. Melinda in court and that they'll triumph even though she's actually guilty. <laughs> Jan continues to manipulate Claire as Belle sees them together and like what are you doing to my daughter? Philip tells Sean that he was um, protecting Sean's family because he wasn't there. So Philip is really being an a-hole so <laughs> so he really gets under Sean's skin and accusing him of being jealous and that's why he really arrested him and uh, because he hugged, he caught him hugging Belle. Then Belle shows up as Sean is saying me and Belle, we're solid, we're tight. That's when Bill comes in like, oh, I'm Philip's lawyer along with Claire who she's like, tell your daughter she needs to stay away from Jay and they were talking again. So Sean tells Claire, you stay away from Jan. She's bad. <laughs> Why don't you just say you know she tried to blow us up. You know she kidnapped me. You know she's manipulative. Um, stop being stupid. She's just using you. So, so, so that happened. And Jan even shows up at the end of the episode. Oh, the door was unlocked. So I just hope you don't mind. I just came in, and she reaches in her bag, and Claire's like, she's got a gun. But no, it's a picture of Sierra that she had left behind. And then Jan leaves, like, um, looking all uh, devious when she turns around. But Claire's left looking stupid, like, oh, oh, she really didn't mean me any harm. You know, maybe she is a nice person. So they keep, I don't, I, look, I don't know how Ben was able to track down Hope. I wasn't going to rewind and see what I, if I, if I didn't hear something at first. I'm like, I have no idea how he found her. Maybe you can tell me in the comment section. Although I really like, let's just move the storyline along, please. But I will say that uh, Christian and Robert had a very good scene together. They had some nice chemistry and they were bonding over Sierra. And so that was nice. Also, Ben is just remembering he didn't see Sierra in the car. That is ridiculous. You can't see a whole last person in the passenger seat when you're looking directly in the window where there is no smoke, even though he said there was smoke. There was no smoke because we could also see uh, what he was seeing. And then the car blew up. That's when it became smoky and fire. He should have just said, this would have made the storyline so much simpler just to say that he thought that she could have been in the trunk. He didn't see her in the front, but he could have thought maybe she was in the trunk because we, we saw her on camera that she was in a car. That would make a lot more sense. Especially if there was some DNA in there in the trunk. But uh yeah it didn't it didn't make sense. So Sarah gets mad at Xander for being Xander, even though she has said like a month or two ago that she would accept Xander even though she knows he's a little bad as long as he doesn't do any baby snatching or anything, that she's cool. But now that uh, he, he suggested to Jan that she gets uh, Philip locked up for something he actually did. Uh, Sarah and Xander were like on the, on the precipice of breaking up over that. Xander's getting mad because she's like all concerned about Philip instead of being concerned about him. And she even's like, you know, will you leave your job for me? You know, you should say, okay, I'll leave my job for you if you leave your job for me. <laughs> That's what he should have said. I, I should have wrote it. <laughs> Say, can you please stop being a doctor? 
and I can be a stop being a, a CEO and we can just go off and have kids and just take whatever money we have now and just go off the radar. She would have looked at him like he was crazy. She was asking him some crazy stuff. Leave your CEO position um, and just be my boyfriend. They're not even married. So they end up making up when he calls Jan. She Jan sends him a voicemail and he tells Jan, stop with the plan, let Philip go. Although Jan didn't even check the message. Um, so we also had uh, Ben and Hope. They find out that Vincent has been using a stolen card. That's how Hope is tracking him. And then they say, oh, he just used the card again. So they go and they find Vincent. And they're like, where's Sierra? And he's like, I'm not saying anything about my attorney. So Ben is like, oh, you're going to tell. And so they drag him off to the police station. Um, so that's it. That's the episode. Um, it was some okay moments in it, but I could add a V8. <laughs> but thank you for watching, and I will see you next video. I do look forward to seeing what happens tomorrow in tomorrow's episode, since that includes Jake, who has basically been off the radar since Gabby left the show. But Gabby, I mean, sorry, Jake and Kate have scenes tomorrow. So thank you for watching.